Hey everybody, this is Pete, and I just want to continue my short video series evaluating and sharing some of the things I learned from Autodesk University 2020. And in this particular video, I want to touch on some really interesting topics from Demir Ali's iLogic class, which I've linked in the description below. Go check it out. Really good class. Had lots of tips in it. But this tip actually doesn't center around iLogic. This is one of those tips that anybody can pick up to make your models a little bit more end user friendly. So for example, I've got this conveyor model. It's a multi-body model that represents a conveyor. And even though it looks simple, when we get into the parameter table, you see there's a lot of different parameters. So uh, somebody who needed to configure this for a quick sales model, et cetera, could do it, but there's a lot of information to wade through. It, it might not want them to edit certain things, et cetera. So one of the easy things that isn't necessarily a new tip, but Demir's class reminded me of this really awesome tip, is I can create an iLogic form to help the users pick the parameters and kind of put it all together into one spot so it's really easy to edit. But I don't even need to use iLogic. That's the best part. Like I literally have no iLogic rules in here. But if I come over to the Forms tab, I can add a form and not have to worry about any coding because what the form allows me to do is just put in one nice concise location all the parameters that I want the user to adjust. So uh, there's a lot of parameters in here, but I only want them to change the overall size of the conveyor. I've built a um, little bit of equations and formulas inside of the parameter table so that they don't have to think about how many rollers I need, et cetera, et cetera. It calculates all that for them. We just need to calculate or compute the size. So I'll just name this form. <clears throat> and then I hit OK. And now I just have a, click this button and then all of the information is in one spot. So this is what makes it really nice for the end user. They can make changes, etc. But here was a tip I didn't know. This is a really great tip from Demir. I'm going to close out of this. If we edit the conveyor sizing, we can make it a little bit easier for everybody by going down here to the behavior and we can have predefined buttons. So when you just have the done button, that means as you change the sizes, each parameter value, Inventor has to compute that. So if I change the bed height, it would have to go through a calculation. Then if I change the bed width, another calculation. So it keeps calculating every time we change a parameter value. I didn't realize this, but if I choose OK, Cancel, Apply, now I can type in all the values first, then apply the changes at the end. So I hit OK, launch this, and you can see here that I can come in here and make changes. Oops. And it doesn't take right away. I can make as many changes as I want and then hit apply. So this is a nice little time saver. This is a really good tip. So that's the tip, and it's really straightforward and easy. Now for the extra ambitious, we can also make this work automatically. So if I come over to the rules area and I add a rule here, I'm just going to call this conveyor form. It's really straightforward. I don't have to get too crazy. I'm just going to come down here to my forms area and I want to show my form. Again, not too crazy iLogic yet. And it helps if you remember the name of your form. I believe that was the name of my form. We'll find out shortly. We'll just test it out, save and run. And there's my form. So perfect. So the rule works. And then if you want this to be even more automatic, we come up to the event triggers. And I have my conveyor form. I want to launch this after a new document. So what happens is I'm going to save this conveyor model as a template. That way, every time somebody's got a new job, we can just grab one of these templates, start up a new conveyor, and it will automatically launch the form for them. So I'll go ahead and do a save as, find my template. There it is. I cheated. I tested it, but I'll, over, I'll override that one. And let's give it a go. So I'll open it up. There's my conveyor multi-body launches. There's my form. 
I can now change this. I can even zoom in the background just so you can kind of see what it looks like. But I can come over here, let's say, oh, I do want it to be 36. Let's make it 24. Let's make it 120. You know, we'll just get crazy. And then you apply it. And notice I get to run all of that at once versus having to chunk through the model every time I change a parameter value. So it's a great class, really great tip. I'm going to utilize the hat. Uh, okay, cancel, apply button. That was great. So hopefully you learned a lot at AU last week. In the comments, if you have any questions, let me know. But share what you've learned. I mean, I, I love learning new stuff, so I'd love to see if anybody else came up with any great tips or could point me to any classes. That would be great. Hope all is well, and have a blessed day.